Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Vusi Supreme Traders on a very cold Sunday morning. All right, so listen, I know I haven't posted in a minute, and I the last time I think I posted an, an analysis and I asked you guys if you want me to keep it coming with this type of video where I analyze, show you guys like the, the, the framework of the mind, like like the thought process of analyzing this chart and what I'm looking for and what I don't want from this chart and stuff like that. And you guys said I should basically keep doing stuff like this. So I definitely have another one for you guys. And I figured since I'm an I was analyzing for this week, so why not just like somehow do an analysis video for this week one so I don't have to make an upload tomorrow or whatever. So these are gonna be the charts that we're gonna look through for the whole week right so once you even if you just have three of these this it's five charts so even if you, you have only three trust me you're covered for the whole week all right so the charts that we're looking at today is the cadchf right we have the audchf also we have the usd jpy the gbp usd and the chf jpy I know there's a lot, but damn, and that, that's what you guys get for the patience you guys had because I haven't been like uploading for a minute now and you guys have been loyal to the channel, so why not? So without t talking anymore, let's just go to the analysis film. All right, film, so we're going to start off with the CADCHF on the H4 time frame, right? So I believe that the current market sentiments for this pay like has us like leaning towards selling more than buying, right? But of course everything is possible but i'm only showing you guys what i'm seeing right as currently i did send out a signal on last friday which was a sell it, it was actually a sell stop order back on this pair was above here so the fact that the price even now made its way back into the main trend line that we're having here which i'm going to describe in detail has me like still believing that listen like the most likely what we're going to see here is the price lower it might like get to the next resist like support zone or whatever but at the moment it certainly makes sense to to sell right so what we're gonna do now we're gonna look at the daily time frame so you can understand why i'm saying this pair is most likely to to like it's most likely to sell than to buy right so let's go to the daily time frame all right so this is the daily time frame right this is the daily time frame and what we're looking at now we're looking at this trend line that we have here so this trend line is coming started at the 5th of june 4th of june right so the 4th of june that candlestick high is where we started joining drawing the trend line and then another high we had a lower high there which was this lower high which was on the 8th of september and then we have this low again right so basically what's going on here because it's back at the trend line you know once a, once the price makes its way or makes its way up or down to a trend line you want to see signs of rejection first before you can actually say listen i'm selling this pair right so what we already have there if we can just zoom in is this candlestick now is confirming the is is confirming a rejection right because we didn't close bullish so although this candlestick had closed bullish right which was outside of the trend line the following daily candlestick closed below the trend line meaning now the although the buyers did make their way out they failed to maintain keeping the price above the trend line so now that we're back underneath it's only one way to go and we have to actually start selling now right so i'm i want to show you the other trend line that i have here where it's coming from so this one you need to go to the h4 time frame because this was actually a top-down analysis so back to the h4 time frame as you can see we have this trend line that i drew here and it's simply to draw this one you need to just look at the 27th of august on the h4 time frames join the trend line using the wick right because this was a low right this was a low that we that we was having here and then the other low that we have was this one right so there's also like some correction that was happening there but this was also a low and then you can start to see that the, the 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 price keeps making contact with this level because if it was just one time then we can't really like rely on it to be a significant zone right but the fact that the price keep kept making contact with this place more than three times because it was once twice three times four times then we can believe that the price now if it does go according to the momentum if the sellers can maintain having that power over the buyers then we can expect to see the price come back here but 
first before before I I I, I go to the next chart, I want to show you that I'm seeing a support resistance zone that I'm still gonna draw now. I right, so this is the zone that I'm telling you guys about. This is the zone that I was talking about. So this is the only place where I think we might see some like correction before the price makes its way lower again until we make our, our way eventually to this lower trend line but to look at this simply you need to look at the the high that we had on the 20th of august right and this is on the h4 time frame so we made contact here once two three four five day and then we retested and broke below uh six and seven right so that's that's a lot of times to for us to just like not take into account this zone so what i think will happen now that we have all of these factors in 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 place i think even if we break below here we might go up and retest and if we do see a retesting and rejection of this zone and the price going down again then you can just compound to the trade that you already open as the price makes its way down there right and obviously this is a very low risk to reward because your risk is only from there to the peak of this high right and your reward is basically from here to there or potentially to the trend line so the risk to reward is insane there's no need for you to even think about this one this is a no-brainer all right so let's go to the next chart so this is our AUDCHF. AUDCHF is a very simple chart ladies and gentlemen this one like you don't even need this one you don't even need a top-down analysis for this one you just need the h4 time frame and if you look at what i'm sh i'm gonna show you now obviously you can already see the the down downtrend line that's already drawn there and for you to basically get this one you just need to look at the high which was on the 2nd of september and then connect it with the week or just forget about this i just connected with the third high because it's one two three but now this high because it's the, the because the the tip of the high is actually a candlestick wick, then it might confuse you as to how do you put it at the accurate place? How do you put the trend at, at the most accurate place? So don't even mind about that part. Just look at the next high and join it there. So it's gonna make contact with the second high, meaning your trend line is all the way proper. So now we had this high there, which didn't make it to the trend line. And then now it seems like the price is about to make it to the trend line. So at the moment, Supreme Traders were in a buy. I sent a sales, uh, I sent a buy signal as the price made its way up. So now we're still holding, and then we like most probably gonna lift this because the there's a support and resistance zone, right? But I'm gonna show you why I didn't draw it. The support and resistance zone is somewhere at this zone, but it's actually a trend line there, so I don't even have to draw it. But I'm gonna draw it regardless to show you guys. So this is what I was talking about, guys. The fact that I, we don't really need this because there's a trend line there to show us a dynamic resistance. But either way, even if you have it, it's all good. But yeah, we're just waiting to see here and then to get a reaction, uh, a rejection there. The perfect scenario for the for us, Supreme Traders, VIP members, it would be if we got a rejection of the trend line there. Then we were going to sell into strength, obviously, right? And basically with this one like i said it's a simple s chart and if you want to just simplify it even further you draw your reversal lines like i'm gonna do so our reversal line will look somewhat like this right obviously you know when you break a reversal line that means like the sellers are in control now so obviously now the price is currently like we 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 close to the reversal line but we're not too close there's still space for momentum in the upside so we're waiting for that and as soon as we break break out to the other side that's when we're going to be selling again right so just keep keep tabs on this pair i would suggest that you also analyze and keep it on your watch list right so let's go to the next pair so the next pair that we're going to talk about is the usd jpy so the usd jpy basically what's going on here you see we had this draw downtrend line then i'm going to show you how we draw it and then now the price currently broke out of that in the h4 time frame and then excuse me after breaking out we started to lose strength right so as we're losing strength now we made it back to the reversal line that we currently had because remember i told you about the reversal line if we break then it means the sellers are in control right so now we break out of the re we didn't break out of the reversal line and we're approaching the reversal line as well as the downtrend line so this is a confluence of more than one signal so now where we're at now we want to see a rejection first because i think this looks like a hell of a property retest right meaning the price is gonna reject here and push to the upside 
so i'm only waiting for a rejection signal but otherwise if we like if we pierce through if the price like punches through the the, the trend line that we have here then i would look into selling right so let me show you how i got this trend line so you gotta go to the daily time frame for this one when you go to the daily time frame look at the high that happened on the 5th of june also wow i feel like we've been bouncing off this this day a lot in this analysis but on the 5th of june that high the candlestick week peak is where you're gonna draw your trend line and then you're gonna join it with this week also that's the which was on the 28th of august and then your trend line is gonna look like this now right so now when you go back to the h4 you're actually gonna see that oh wait the price actually moved or broke out of the trend line right and you can see there was kind of a struggle before the price actually broke up out of the of the trend line there was a, a bit of a struggle and then it eventually the price did break out and then now we're losing strength but i want to see what's going what's going to happen here and the signal that i'm going to send next week is most probably going to come out of this one depending on how we react on monday all right so let's go to the next page so with this pair, we're going to look at the GBP USD. We're going to look at the GBP USD. And also, guys, shout out to my chance today. I'm back in the MetaTrader 5 platform. That's that's what I'm using to analyze right now. So, like, I know a lot of you guys are also using MetaTrader. It's only a select few people using TradingView. But, yeah, I just want to show that, like, listen, it's not a, it's not an excuse to, 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 to not be able to have TradingView or whatever. Even if you have MetaTrader, that's enough. It does the job nicely all right so now look at this right we have this trend line that we drew here the trend line started on the 18th of may right it was, yeah it started on the 18th of may and then we had this high so this is no this this was the low the lowest we can see on the screen this was the low and the higher low right and then another higher low there you understand so what actually happened now we had this reversal line there and then the price broke out with this support zone which the price came and retested the, the the trend line and then broke out again and then we also have this support resistance zone so now let's go to the h4 time frame so as we can see now the price did break out of the reversal line that we had there we went to the we went to the resistance zone retested that zone and then now we're breaking out right so now that we're breaking out there's still momentum i think we should buy into strength here you understand but obviously it's going to depend on how the market opens because there are poss possibilities that the price can break out and then come and retest here and then bounce back up again that's a possibility that we need to explore so obviously going into this trade now you'd actually have to open as uh, a small lot size right not not a tiny lot size but a, but a, but one way because you only you know your account so you have to open one way your account can tolerate in the fact that if you go up start coming down again that's so we can add another trade as we retest and then you can compound and then make twice on the on the thing on the rise right or on the rally whatever you want to call it so let's go to the last pair i have one more pair for y'all today damn i'm blessing y'all man so now we're gonna look at the chfjpy with the chfjpy now right so the chfjpy i just want to show you where i got the trend line you just need a you don't even need a daily time frame but we can just go to the daily time frame so you can see what's going on so now going back to the h4 time frame we can see that the the we actually broke out here ne? and then instead of getting a rejection pattern we got this candlestick here and this candlestick what it basically means is it's re it's a rejection to go to the downside it's a bullish signal right so here i'm gonna look into buy right so depending on how the market actually opens on monday i'm gonna be looking for signals to actually buy so all my vip members can expect to get signals from this pair right all right, all right, all right. i know like i said like i said i know these are these are a lot of charts right but it's only five but yeah i feel like it's a lot and the reason i gave you guys a, like this chart in abundance is because i haven't uploaded in a minute and you guys have been like loyal to the to, uh, to the channel i almost said to the charts to the channel so i might as well just like you know throw in as many charts as i can for you guys now but yeah hopefully i'm gonna do another analysis video next weekend 
but what i'm looking forward to do this week is a nas 100 analysis which i'm sure is going to be out on tuesday or wednesday somewhere there all right so thank you guys for rocking with the boy so boy if we see makes like subscribe comment i'm gonna see you guys on the next one all right peace out